can do this. I 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 can do this. All I have to do is open my mouth. All I have to do is open my mouth. Open my mouth. Do it. I can do this. I can do this. I I I can do this. I can do this. All I have to do is open my mouth. Open open my mouth. Open open my mouth. Open open my mouth. And open my mind. Open open my mind. And open my eyes. Eyes eyes eyes. I can do this. I can do this. I I I can do this. I can do this. Anne Lamont has a writing book, that Bird by Bird book. It's very basic. It's a very sort of like, it, you know, how to write, how to keep writing, inspirational kind of, and her mate, one of her chapters, for, one of the chapters is called Shitty Drafts, and it's about allowing shitty work to let yourself keep going and knowing that it's a process, which is huge. And then the other chapter is about taking, like she does this visualization thing where she like takes the people, the vo she tries to figure out what the voices are in her head, and, and she takes them and she shrinks them down and puts them in a jar and puts a lid on them. You know, and keeps so that you can keep working. And I, um, at first, I was like, well, I don't go through, I don't meditate before I work or something. But the times I've actually done that, where I visualize the different people or the different things in my head that have gotten in my way, and that it works. Like when you vision putting it away, you're like, wow, I really am being. I have been stopped by reviews, comments, or you know what I mean. That's powerful stuff. Okay, now I feel like some old lady. Like I feel like Liza Minnelli. Like wait a second, I put my makeup on. What inspires me? I think. Uh, oh, a lot of different stuff inspires me. Um, I don't have a, a. Usually, it's it's this it's as basic as um, uh, mostly human trauma. <laughs> I don't mean I wish for trauma, but I um, any sort of traumatic thing or intense thing. Like for instance, when I was younger, and this is so basic, and I'm almost embarrassed to admit it, that how much like I thought that I discovered Van Gogh. Like I'm like, you know what? He's good. Or I'm like, I think he's something to it. And I used to be really proud of myself when I was like like 20 because I was really affected by Van Gogh. And I'm like, I don't like the impression. I like the one that you can see his mental illness. I like the really fucked upness of, you know, and again, as if nobody had seen that. And I'm like, I'm telling you, it's intense. But I'm, I'm inspired by watching different people and my own stuff where they're, where they're stuck and where they're messed up. I know, that's what, it, today, that's inspiring. I mean, tomorrow I'll be like, art museums, check off. I want for my work to match where I'm at in life sort of thing, right? Like what I understand, like it, I, I want to keep being brave enough to whatever's going on with me that I would continue to put it in my work and get to the point where I stop questioning it. I am very self-critical and I hope that that helps my work. So I don't just sort of go, well, I think this is wonderful there because I said it and I thought it that one time. You know, like I have to always be coming back to the... I like to keep questioning it, you know, and like if I have a scene that I've written and I keep going back to it and it's not, if, if it does not feel right the next time, then I for sure am like, well, I'm going to change it. I'm the one in charge. I'm not, you know, I don't have to, this is not the written word. I get to keep making it, I keep changing it until it works for me. The joy is when I'm not thinking at all and that when I'm actually in the moment acting and, and I'm as if it's happening. I always try to outdo myself, you know, and... Uh, and I feel like I've done it. I wouldn't put up. I wouldn't put it on stage if I didn't think it was the best thing I've done. If it was the most challenging thing I've done, the funniest thing I've done, the most honest thing I've done. I, I, every show is is that. I want you to think of like the scariest thing that you have ever experienced. Okay, because I've. Spent Experience that's a lot of scary things. Now just look really scared. I don't. Okay. Run. It's really, really dark. It's so dark. That doesn't help. Concentrate and focus on the feeling. When you act, you're going to be going into a different character, okay? Okay. It's not going to be you. But you'll still have to draw from your life experiences. You doing it a little bit? Are you trying it on? Good. Just remember, it's not you. It's not real. But you want to tap into that feeling, okay? It's actually fun because you can stop it at any minute. And the cool part, the satisfying part, is when you actually really go there and you really feel that feeling. But then you can stop it. You're like recreating that moment. You know what I mean? And I then, can act sad. That's an easy one. Right, right. <laughs> Right, but unfortunately, we don't have a sad wolf on our hands. We have a scared wolf on our hands who's running for its life. <laughs> You're huffing and puffing. 
Oh my god, the lights about they're about to go off. It's totally scary. Okay, good, now start running. Really good. Okay, let's stop.